I declare the 139th commencement of the University of Maine at Fort Kent to be convened. Hello, I am Deb Hedeen, the president of the University of Maine at Fort Kent, and it is with great pleasure that I welcome the graduating class of 2021, as well as parents, families, and friends. Thank you for joining us today to celebrate these talented, intelligent, and accomplished students. We have approximately 250 graduates representing 24 states and nine countries. We are incredibly proud of our students who have shown remarkable resilience, determination, and persistence during the COVID pandemic. It has been a challenging time because of the limited events, activities, and in-person classroom instruction. A typical day at UMFK and at universities across the nation this past academic year includes wearing a face mask, social distancing, and spending at least some portion of the day in Zoom meetings and classroom sessions. These outstanding students have maintained a positive attitude and performed in extraordinary ways in order to accomplish their goals. They will thrive in their careers because of this unique skill set acquired during the pandemic. What has typically been understood as common practice, predictable, and normal will now be viewed by our students as an opportunity to create change, provide innovative alternatives, and advance procedures beyond normal. To our students, this is an exciting time in your life as you leave the university community and venture out to accepting jobs and advancing your, or advancing your studies by attending graduate school. We hope you will use the knowledge and skills learned here as a guide and foundation for your future endeavors. The Fort Kent and University community will always welcome you home. It is my distinct pleasure to recognize Catherine Olmsted as the recipient of the honorary doctoral degree. Catherine earned a Bachelor of Arts in English from the University of Illinois Champaign-Urbana and a Master's of Arts in English and Education from the University of Wisconsin-Madison. She has lived in Maine since 1974. Catherine has made numerous contributions while serving as a journalism faculty and associate dean in the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences at the University of Maine for 25 years, as well as teaching journalism and photography courses at UMFK and UMPI. As the editor of the Echoes Rediscovering Community magazine, a quarterly journal highlighting the natural and rural culture based in northern Maine for 30 years, she engaged community members and provided exposure that celebrated the quality of life in Aroostook County. In 2002, she was the recipient of the New England Scholastic Press Association Award, and in 2009, the UMaine Presidential Public Service Award. In 2018, Catherine was inducted into the Maine Press Association Hall of Fame. Her passion, positive energy, and commitment to community has made Catherine an excellent recipient of this prestigious award. Catherine has consistently served the great state of Maine for over three decades. On recommendation of the president and the faculty of the University of Maine at Fort Kent, the trustees of the University of Maine system have conferred upon Catherine Olmsted the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters with all the rights and honors thereunto pertaining. In testimony whereof, this diploma is granted at Fort Kent on the eighth day of May in the year 2021. I present to you Catherine Olmsted. Chancellor Malloy, President Hedeen, members of the Board of Trustees and the Board of Visitors, parents and friends of the graduates, and most important, the class of 2021. This is your day. Congratulations. All of your work is about to be rewarded. Your hours of studying, the projects, the papers, the presentations, the all-nighters, and in this extraordinary year, the Zoom sessions. You have much to be proud of. I am deeply honored to be sharing this celebration with you. Sincere thanks to those of you who felt me worthy of an honorary degree from the University of Maine at Fort Kent. You know who you are, and I am 
humbled by your recognition. When I was asked to deliver the commencement address, I was pleased for the opportunity to express my gratitude, but what could I say in five minutes to adequately commemorate this occasion? What would be the best words to honor the more than 250 graduates who came to this university, not only from all over the state of Maine, including a cohort at the University of Maine at Augusta, but also from Canada, Great Britain, Scotland, India, Nigeria, the Virgin Islands, and 21 states representing every region of this nation. I needed to know more about these people to make my remarks relevant. With help from Professor Jenny Radsman in nursing and Carrie Watson Blaisdell in the president's office, I was able to have some wonderful conversations with a few students. While they do not speak for every member of their class, their comments provide an insight in what it means to have graduated from UMFK. As you look back, I ask them, how have your years at this university influenced your relationship with yourself, with others, and with the world around you? What does it mean to have studied at UMFK? I spoke with students who hail from Canada, California, and Connecticut, who traveled hours and hours to a small town in northern Maine to study nursing and computer applications. At times, they wondered whether they had made the right decision. But when asked to reflect, they were unanimous on three facets of their college experience. Personal growth, friendly people, and beautiful surroundings. Perhaps they do speak for a number of their classmates in comments like these about personal growth. I stepped outside my box into a new environment with new people, one student said. It was definitely different, but it was a good difference. Another said, it was sink or swim, and I definitely swam. Meeting new people helped me grow like I never would have if I hadn't come here. Another said, my worldview definitely opened up. I realized differences and the many sides of a mindset. I learned life skills beyond the classroom, how to get a job done, what works and doesn't work in communicating and organizing. And one final poetic thought on personal growth. I learned that being alone isn't so bad. Solitude shapes and molds you into what you were supposed to be. In quietness, you find your voice. When these students looked outside themselves, they found friendliness expressed in comments like these. Definitely, it's the people that make you MFK. There is a strong relationship between the town and the campus. Townspeople attend athletic events. Students volunteer for events like the can sled dog races. UMFK does a good job of integrating the school and the community. One student said, this school attracts so many people from all over. And another said, UMFK is not homogeneous. And remembering the town, they said, People here are so nice compared to any place in the country. The entire community is so friendly. And finally, a small town humbles you. There is still beauty in a place no one sees. This small town made me a nurse, and I am proud to be coming from here. And then they will remember the beauty in comments like these. Fort Kent was even prettier than the pictures, but nothing had prepared me for the snow. I felt the peaceful, relaxing atmosphere outdoors so many times. I'm definitely affected by the place in all four seasons. I stayed the summer and it was so beautiful. I like nice long runs, breathing easy the clean air. Maine has turned me into an explorer. I would never have discovered Acadia National Park if I hadn't come here. These quotes are just small pieces of a few stories. Now I ask every graduate out there, how would you answer these questions? 
How have your years at this university influenced your relationship with yourself, with others, and with the world around you? What does it mean to you to have graduated from UMFK? Your answers are the conclusion of this speech. Why are they important? Wherever you go, whatever you do, this college in this place is part of you. And when on your life journey, you encounter someone else who knows Fort Kent, or even Aroostra County, and it will happen, sometimes in the most unlikely places, you will feel an unspoken bond. You might not even know the person, but you will know what you share. Because this small town, small campus chapter in your life, in a place that is friendly and beautiful, has given you an identity, an awareness of who you are that you would not have gained in a larger place. The person you become going forward will be stronger because of the person you became at UMFK. Congratulations on your achievement, and thank you again for letting me share this landmark on your path to the future. I want you to close your eyes. It's dark, right? But even though it's dark and you can't see, everything that was around you is still there. Similarly, even though you can't see them yet, your dreams exist, and they are waiting for the day you will be able to open your eyes and see them. Continue closing your eyes. What do you think is worse than being blind? Well, a blind woman once said that it is having sight but no vision. You can open your eyes now. While growing up, my father would tell me, make sure you know where you are going, because if you don't know where you are going, then any road will take you there. My father is a wise man, and he is filled with an abundance of life lessons worth more than gold. The message he was trying to teach me at a young age is that if you want to get somewhere in life, you need to be clear on where you want to go, or else you will end up somewhere you don't want to be. Success doesn't just happen by accident. You have to work for it. Try and laugh for it, plan for it, and most importantly, believe in it. But it first starts with a vision, a destination of where you want to go, who you want to be, or what you want to achieve. Because life is a journey, and a destination is the first part of any journey. Everything else, the route you will take, the belongings you will pack, and the transportation you will, ca you will ride, are all dependent on the destinations you set. That's why Google Map can't get, give you directions without two addresses, your current location and your destination. And when you arrive at your destination, it becomes your current location. Which means that in life, you have many destinations. Today, we are celebrating our arrival at one of those destinations in life. While I'm talking, take notes. And even if you don't, it's okay, because I'm sure that life will have a lot more notes for you to take. I'm sure many of you remember the first time you came to UMFK. You remember the countless times you have been asked, Why did you come to UMFK? We all have our reasons. And each person's, and each, and each person's reason is important, because it is what brought them to UMFK. Graduates. Some of you came right out of high school, a high school that's a few thousand kilometers away, or a high school that's right across the street. While some of you transferred or returned after working or taking a break, regardless of the avenue you took, your reasons are part of what carried you through UMFK. Granted, that many of your life, your reasons have been tested and questioned, and some of you have had to reconstruct them or cultivate new ones to pull you through. Overall, your reasons are a source of motivation. And just like you had a reason for coming to UMFK, there's also a reason for your life. You might be the reason why someone will live, love, laugh, or follow their dreams. So ask yourself these questions. Why did you come into this world? What's your purpose? But before moving the focus away from UMFK, as our time as undergraduates come to an end, do you remember why you stayed in UMFK? For many of us, it was a community the long-lasting relationships we've built, or the friendships we've made that will last a lifetime. At UMFK, we were not just a number. We were individuals. And another reason might be because of the diverse and rich experiences we've had. From singing songs to tasting foods, our worldview views have opened up and the memories we made will stay in our hearts. Now, what will you do after UMFK? Everyone graduating today, no matter how big or small you thought your presence was, you have left an impact on UMFK. 
and like a snowflake causing an avalanche. You will go out into the world and do big things. Just remember, even though you might have finished all your tests, life has its own tests. So during these times, let your kindness be more contagious than COVID. Let your faith be bigger than your fears. And let, and let your visions be bigger than your doubts. Finally, as you accept your awards and degrees today, remember, no man is an island. You did not get here by yourself. Whether good or bad, the people who have influenced you have shaped you who you are today. So remember to thank them. For me, I thank my family, coaches, professors, and friends. But mostly, I thank God for giving me the faith to believe in the dark when I could not see, yet see that which was in the light, and for blessing me abundantly so I can give more than I have received, and for staying true to his words to give me hope in a future. So in closing, congratulations, UMFK, graduating class of 2021. Enjoy this milestone you have accomplished. President Hedin, these candidates have successfully fulfilled all of the requirements prescribed by the faculty and the Board of Trustees. On behalf of the faculty, I now present them to you and request that you admit them to their degrees. Students who maintained a high level of academic achievement during their undergraduate careers at the University of Maine at Fort Kent are graduated with honors. Graduation with honors is based on the student's cumulative GPA at UMFK. Students must complete at least 50% of the total degree credits required in their program at UMFK to receive honors. Honors are calculated as follows. 3.20 to 3.49 cum laude. 3.50 to 3.79 magna cum laude. 3.80 to 4.0 summa cum laude. We now present the University of Maine at Fort Kent Class of 2021 degree candidates. Recipients of Bachelor of Arts and Sciences. Stephanie Chelsea Cervantes, summa cum laude. Elizabeth Rose Turner, cum laude. Recipients of Bachelor of Science in Behavioral Science. Taylor May Barnaby. Kimberly Diana Blanchett, Magna Cum Laude. Behavioral Science Award, Presidential Award for Academic Excellence. Kristen Marie Hafford. Brooke Faith Morneau, Magna Cum Laude. Brad Plord. Abigail Ann Pooler. Sophia Rose Rodriguez, Cum Laude. Sarah Arlene Sullivan. Christopher Tillock, cum laude. Megan Elizabeth White, Associate of Arts in Criminal Justice. Recipients of Bachelor of Science in Biology. Mariah K. Fryman. Leah Alexandra Pelletier, Magna Cum Laude, Biology Award. Recipients of Bachelor of Science in Business Management. Kyle Avery Chamberlain, Magna Cum Laude, Business Management Award. Bryce Kedrick Coffin, Magna Cum Laude, Presidential Award for Academic Excellence. 
Mandy Ray Fitzgerald, cum laude. Katrina Lynn Kincaid, summa cum laude. Ryan Austin Merkel, magna cum laude. Amber Lynn Rankin, Business Management Award. Fezzi Salim. Christian Lee Simonian, magna cum laude. Recipients of Bachelor of Science in Computer Applications. Joshua Joseph Anderson, cum laude. Alpha Abdullahi Diallo, summa cum laude. David Lewis Hepburn Hillman, magna cum laude. Tolulope Josephine Oyeni, summa cum laude, valedictorian, Dean's Award, Computer Applications Award, Presidential Award for Academic Excellence, Gretchen Prize in Fine Arts. Jacob Anthony Smart. Ryan Veyu, cum laude. Recipients of Bachelor of Science in Conservation Law Enforcement. Ethan Clarence Jocks. Connor Joseph McLean, summa cum laude, Conservation Law Enforcement Award. Recipients of Bachelor of Science in Cybersecurity. Dylan Griffith Gerson, magna cum laude, Cybersecurity Award. Recipients of Bachelor of Science in Environmental Studies. Jacob Leonard Richard. Recipients of Bachelor of Science in Rural Public Safety Administration. Wyatt Merle Foster. Michaela L. Hernandez. Parker Ross Jandro, summa cum laude, Rural Public Safety Administration Award. Jack Peter Maloney, Associate of Arts in Criminal Justice. Robert Jeffrey Sirwa. Yvette Trujillo, cum laude. Recipients of Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Accelerated Track. Christina Rachel Brown, summa cum laude. Samuel David Lee Carpenter, magna cum laude. Craig Samuel Clark, summa cum laude. Gabrielle Bonita Dorr, magna cum laude. Selena Edwin, summa cum laude. Danielle Lee Gendro, magna cum laude. Lucas Wesley Grant, cum laude. Juliana Grimm, summa cum laude. Anthony Carlyk Guzman, magna cum laude. Kayla Marie Harriman, 
magna cum laude. Naomi Hebert, summa cum laude. Michaela Monet Hill, magna cum laude. Caleb Polotz, magna cum laude. Vicky Marie Kirby, magna cum laude. Justin Lewis Love, magna cum laude. Courtney Simone Morera, magna cum laude. Julia Kathleen Nixon, summa cum laude. Peter Nyame, summa cum laude, Outstanding Accelerated Nursing Student Award. Noel Siloff, summa cum laude. Kurt Joseph Susi, cum laude. Joey S. Stinson, summa cum laude. Kristen Megan Veralt, summa cum laude. Lauren Marie Willette, summa cum laude. Recipients of Bachelor of Science in Nursing Traditional Track. Melissa Marie Albert. Madison Lacey Arnold, magna cum laude, Presidential Award for Academic Excellence. Emily Ellen Louise Austin, magna cum laude. Orobuser F. Batiste, summa cum laude, salutatorian, Outstanding Traditional Nursing Student Award. Hannah Danielle Bess. Michaela Kathleen Boudreau, magna cum laude, Presidential Award for Academic Excellence. Tori Michelle Bray, magna cum laude, Presidential Award for Academic Excellence. Kaylin Elizabeth Brown, summa cum laude. Laurie Christine Kalnan, magna cum laude. Josie Cecile Clark, cum laude. Chelsea Lynn Conroy, magna cum laude. Brittany Lee Corey, cum laude. Morgan Elizabeth Crocker, magna cum laude, Presidential Award for Academic Excellence. Brenda Suzanne Currier, magna cum laude. Ryan Z. Dietz. Molly Elizabeth Elwell, magna cum laude. Michaela Alexis Fitzpatrick, magna cum laude. Cheyenne Rose Hagenmiller, cum laude. Brittany Grace Hallisey, cum laude. Crystal Faith Hebert, magna cum laude. Brooke Elizabeth Howland, summa cum laude, Presidential Award for Academic Excellence. Julie 
B.J. Jenks, cum laude. Jordan M. Jowett, cum laude. Sabetia Koirala, summa cum laude. Kristen L. Lane. Salome Leek, summa cum laude. Lacey D. Lindsay, magna cum laude. Luce Francis Loomis, magna cum laude, Student Senate Outstanding Senior Award. Sarah Lindsay Manzo, summa cum laude, Presidential Award for Academic Excellence. Olivia Tressa Martin, magna cum laude. Luke Hunter Mason, Magna Cum Laude, Hensler Prize, UMFK Alumni Association Outstanding Senior Award. Dana Danielle McLaughlin, Magna Cum Laude. Amy Beatrice Michaud, Magna Cum Laude. Jessica Nicole Michaud, Magna Cum Laude. Rachel Marie Andres Nance, Magna Cum Laude. Christabel Shinenyi Okafor, Summa Cum Laude. Mandy Aileen Willett. Olivia Jane Owens, Magna Cum Laude. Nikki Marie Pelletier. Madeline Marianne Pierce, Magna Cum Laude. Rayleigh Joyce Shaw, Cum Laude. Mackenzie Elizabeth Sheehan, Cum Laude. Alyssa Ryan Smith, Magna Cum Laude, Presidential Award for Academic Excellence. Corey Stewart, Magna Cum Laude. Recipients of Bachelor of Science in Nursing Traditional Track UMA Campus. Casey Lee Anktel, Cum Laude. Catherine Elizabeth Anderson, Magna Cum Laude. Lindsay Aaron Nicole Banks, Magna Cum Laude. Jennifer Christine Bauer, Summa Cum Laude. Lauren Ashley Bean. Emily Rose Belanger, Summa Cum Laude. Christina Rose De Leon, Magna Cum Laude. Caitlin Alice Doherty, Cum Laude. Kristen Alicia Doughty, Cum Laude. Ashley Ray Dube, Summa Cum Laude. Cindy Carolina Espinoza, Cum Laude. Aaliyah Farnham, Cum Laude. Jordan Marie Jeunesse.
Emily Renee Papolas Gilman, magna cum laude. Jillian Francis Grant, summa cum laude. Jessica Lee Grenier, summa cum laude. Chloe Jade Gustin, cum laude. Abigail Marie Ham Thompson, magna cum laude. Jasmine Christy Hansen, magna cum laude. Melissa Makasik Hersom, cum laude. Tiffany Violet Kaplan, cum laude. Michelle Lynn Kelly, cum laude. Jane Ellen Kelton, magna cum laude. Wendy Lee Kenny. Natalia Gregorievna Kimball, summa cum laude. Kimberly Michelle Knox, summa cum laude. Emily A. Levitt, cum laude. Barbara Dawn Lewis, summa cum laude. Sherry Ann Littlefield, magna cum laude. Sammy Jo McFarland, magna cum laude. Catherine Bell Markey, summa cum laude. Cynthia Jean Martin, cum laude. Angel Noel Mayo, cum laude. Amanda May Milligan, summa cum laude. Outstanding Traditional Nursing Student Award. Doris Ann Nally, cum laude. Lynn Deanne Perkins, cum laude. Kayla Lynn Quimby, cum laude. Chelsea Marie Roderick, magna cum laude. Jacqueline Ann Sterling, summa cum laude. Stephanie Jo Steeler, magna cum laude. Kimberly Sue Stewart, magna cum laude. Jasmine Denise Tantoko, cum laude. Shelby Lynn Sarah Toby, magna cum laude. Carly Ann Ward, cum laude. Recipients of Bachelor of Science in Nursing, RN to BSN track. Lauren Carter Adams, magna cum laude. Sarah Jean Archie, summa cum laude. Christina Lynn Bailey, magna cum laude. Sarah K. Brooks, summa cum laude. Amelia Elizabeth Capella, summa cum laude, Outstanding RN to BSN Student Award. Francis L. Karen, 
Summa Cum Laude. Carrie Lynn Cressy, Magna Cum Laude. Kimberly Ann Sear, Summa Cum Laude. Shauna Lyons Goulet, Summa Cum Laude. Patricia Ann Hegarty, Summa Cum Laude. Sonia M. Higgins, Summa Cum Laude. Lucinda Lisa Houston, Summa Cum Laude. Jamie Lee Hovey, Summa Cum Laude. Jessica M. Howard, Summa Cum Laude. Kayla Jean Manifold, Summa Cum Laude. Allison Elizabeth McEwen, Magna Cum Laude. Samantha Janet Needham, Magna Cum Laude. Donna O'Leary, Summa Cum Laude. Christy L. Ricker. Melissa Lynn Russell, Magna Cum Laude. Erica Jane St. Cyr, Summa Cum Laude. Megan Ann Terrio, Summa Cum Laude. Caitlin Marie Umphrey, Magna Cum Laude. Judith Ann Whitmore, Summa Cum Laude. Wendy Lee Wilson, Summa Cum Laude. Meredith Bennett Young, Magna Cum Laude. Shauna Lee Young, Summa Cum Laude. Recipients of Associate of Arts in Conservation Law Enforcement. Noah Matthew Gilbert. Philip Thomas Mills. Devin Ross Quint. Recipients of Associate of Arts in Criminal Justice. Bailey Cheyenne Jackson Pelletier. Aspen Blake Tilly. Voigt Mavis Toby, Magna Cum Laude. Recipients of Associate of Arts in Emergency Management. Christopher Alexander Fox, Magna Cum Laude, Emergency Management Award. Recipients of Associate of Arts in General Studies. Terry Mackay Foreman. Recipients of Associate of Science in Applied Forest Management. Adam Jeffrey Bagley, Summa Cum Laude, Applied Forest Management Award. Jonathan Thomas Haley, Magna Cum Laude, Associate of Science Academic Achievement Award. On the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the degrees of 
Bachelor of Arts and Sciences in General Studies, Bachelor of Science in Behavioral Science, Biology, Business Management, Computer Applications, Conservation Law Enforcement, Cybersecurity, Environmental Studies, Nursing, and Rural Public Safety Administration. Associate of Science in Applied Forest Management. Associate of Arts in Conservation Law Enforcement, Criminal Justice, Emergency Management, and General Studies. With all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Signifying your possession of a university degree, graduates, you may now turn your tassels to the left. I proudly present to you the class of 2021. Graduates, this is your opportunity to give your family and friends a big thank you and round of applause for supporting you along your journey. In the next week, take time to reach out to faculty and staff who supported you and helped shape your bright future. We congratulate the class of 2021 and wish you the very best. The 139th proceedings are now concluded. A beacon for two nations, our alma mater stands among clear flowing rivers, all blessed by nature's hand. Bright daughter of Acadia, true friend to woman and man. She calls our hearts, our spirits, to serve our life, all lands. Patok la vie belle, come sing the sweet refrain. That calls back sunlit memories of lessons learned in Maine. That calls back sunlit memories of winter's turn to spring. May green and gold stay in our hearts forever, UMFK.
Congratulations to all of you who are graduating from the University of Maine, Fort Kent. This is a momentous occasion in your life, made all the more special for your having worked through the great challenge of a pandemic, one which had not challenged higher education in over 100 years. I want to thank you for keeping your friends and uh, family and neighbors safe uh, and being so compliant with the steps that we took to, to assure you of a healthy education. Let me thank your president, uh, who has done such an outstanding job, uh, President Hadeen, in her first year at your university. And let me single out the faculty and staff who've done such a great job in supporting you and providing you with this educational opportunity. Remember us. Remember the University of Maine at Fort Kent uh, and continue to be a member of its family. And take care of the communities to which you are returning or moving to and make sure that they too have your love and support. Go get them. On behalf of Academic Affairs, congratulations, UMFK's class of 2021. It wasn't easy, but you did it. Now go out there and make your mark on this world. You've got this. I tip my mortarboard to you and say resilient. After nearly one and a half years of following coronavirus protocol, you have made it to graduation. Congratulations, UMFK graduates of 2021. Hey everyone, this is Troy Jackson, Senate President of the State of Maine. I just want to take a moment to congratulate you for all your hard work, especially in the times that we're in. So congratulations, uh, go forward and do great things. We're all behind you. From all of us in the Register's office, Joyce, Lisa, and Jake, congratulations on your well-deserved success. You are all moving into a new and exciting chapter in your life. No matter where you are, no matter what you do, never stop believing in yourselves as this is the beginning of endless opportunities. We would like to wish you the best for the future that lies ahead. And it's time to celebrate all the hard work that led to this joyful occasion. Congratulations. Woohoo! Congratulations! You did it! Come back and visit us! Perseverance. Determination. Hard work. Motivation. For displaying these traits and numerous others on your way to obtaining your degree. From the athletic department with love. Congratulations, graduates, on a job well done. Woo! Hey, congratulations, graduates. All of us in Student Affairs are so proud of you for your accomplishments and for making it through this year. So now it is time to celebrate and go out and live amazing lives. Ed Herbert Nason here. Congratulations to all you graduates of UMFK and a job well done, pandemic and all. And uh, take care. Hey graduates, congratulations from the admissions office. It seems like just yesterday you were applications and now you're getting your diplomas. You grew up so fast. We're really proud of you. We're really excited for you. So congratulations class of 2021. Woo! Congrats! <laughs> Hi everybody, this is Sophia Burden at Blake Library at the University of Maine at Fort Kent, as you all know. I am here to congratulate you for getting through this tough year, and I'm so happy that you've made it to 2021. So congratulations, I hope you do good in the future. Congratulations, congratulations from Student Affairs! Congratulations Bengals, you did it. To the graduating class of 2021 at UMFK, congratulations from everyone here at North State Federal Credit Union. Hello, congratulations on graduation. You've worked long and hard and you deserve this moment. I'm very proud of you. Congratulations, class of 2021. We're so proud of you. In the future, please don't be a stranger. Come in and say hi the next time you find yourself in Fort Kent. And God bless and best of luck in all your future endeavors. Hey everyone, congratulations on graduating. It is a monumental feat. I hope that you are as proud of yourselves as we are proud of you. Thank you for making my first few months here so wonderful. I will never forget you guys. I hope you all stay in touch and I cannot wait to watch you all do great things. Hi graduates. Congratulations to all of you and a big thank you to those of you who are on campus this semester and came to see us every week for COVID testing. I wish all of you the best of luck. Congratulations on your graduation and good luck in your next adventures. Go Bengals! Thank you for spending these years with us here at UMFK. Your hard work has resulted in a great accomplishment which you will have with you for the rest of your life. From the campus store, 
the business office, financial aid, all of us here at finance. Congratulations! Hello graduates. Congratulations on making it to the end of your undergraduate career and the commencement of your life as an educated person. Remember where you came from, what it took to get there, and never fail to apply what you learned at UMSK about how to think, about how to use reason and science to make informed judgments that guide your behavior. Congratulations to all 2021 UMFK graduates. Best of luck to you in all your future endeavors. Congratulations, UMFK graduates, on a successful year. Congratulations, class of 2021. You've been real troopers this year uh, with everything that's been going on, and you deserve a lot of credit. Um, so I wish you health, happiness, and success in your future. Go Bengals. Happy graduation to you. Happy graduation to you. Happy graduation, class of 2021 at UMFK. Happy graduation to you. Best of luck in your future. Go Bengals. Congratulations to all of the JMG UMFK to class of 2021 graduates. I am so proud of everything that you have accomplished and all that you have overcome. Please know that JMG will always be there to support you. And I so look forward to seeing you soar. Thank you again for working with me and best wishes for your future. Caps off to you 2021 graduates. Congratulations on your graduation. Wishing you much success and best wishes on your next adventure. Yay, you did it. We are so proud of you and we can't wait to see where your next adventure takes you. Best of luck. Well, hi there. Uh, hey, it's graduation. Uh, so congratulations. Uh, that's an amazing achievement. Uh, so I want to take a moment to thank you very much uh, for all your efforts as students here and to wish you the best of luck moving forward. Go out, make your mark in the world, and be a success. Uh, you're part of the legacy of this university as you move forward. So good luck, congratulations, and have a wonderful graduation day. Congratulations, all UMFK graduates. You have worked really hard to make it to this day, and we are really proud of you. We hope you enjoyed being here as much as we enjoyed having you. Best of luck. Congratulations, graduating class of 2021. We're so proud of all you've accomplished and we can't wait to see what you do next. We wish you nothing but the best. Congratulations. Hope you get a chance to celebrate. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Congratulations, UMaine Fort Kent, class of 2021. We are all so proud of you and wish you the best. And one little piece of advice, dream your dreams and do your best. Never doubt and never rest until that dream is yours. We really look forward to seeing all the great things that you accomplish. And again, best of luck. Hey everyone, Nick Lalleman here, Director of Student Support Services. On behalf of the Student Success Center and myself, we want to say a huge congratulations. Have fun today. Go celebrate. Forever a bangle. Congratulations, class of 2021. On behalf of Irving Woodlands, welcome to the alumni class. Hi. Congratulations to all our graduating seniors and your families. You did it. Your commitment to your learning and your hard work has paid off. And I wish you all the best in what's coming next for you. Congratulations from the Student Success Center. Congratulations, graduates. Today is your day. Best day ever. We are so incredibly proud of you, and we are so very excited for you. We wish you the very best in your future. Yay! Congratulations! Congratulations! Congratulations!